My name is Kevin Massey, and I'm playing Monty Navarro in the show. I'm John Rapson, and I'm playing the Dicewith family in the national tour of A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. That entails playing eight characters, eight doomed, crazy, mean, wacky characters. The plot of the show is basically that Monty Navarro finds out very early on that he's a part of this really wealthy family in London at the turn of the century, right around 1900. And he writes to them, he reaches out to them and he says, I'm, I'm down on my luck, I'd really want to be embraced by you. And they say, we want nothing to do with you. And so he does what any Edwardian gentleman would and must do. He kind of murders his way to the top. He's just a young, poor lad that, that life happens to him. And finally, when he gets this opportunity, Opportunity to make life work for him, he takes advantage of that. You see his journey along the way, he becomes more confident, he enjoys what he's doing, but the audience is rooting for him because all these characters are just so horribly, wonderfully awful. The thing that has made the show so lasting and I think so fantastic is there are just these great elements of every kind of comedic style. There's farce and slapstick, there's some really highbrow stuff, there's some really lowbrow stuff. It's different than a lot of shows they've been hearing in recent years. It is, has a contemporary feel but it's not necessarily the contemporary sound in terms of music. It, sometimes it feels a little more classical in nature but it's so attainable. We're so lucky to come here. Denver audience is some of the greatest audiences that, that you're going to have in this country. Uh, actors always look forward to coming to Denver. I was here um, back in 2005, I think, with Big River, the sign language version. And, and then I came back through with Little House on the Prairie, the musical. I played Almanzo Wilder, and my wife, who was not my wife at the time, but we were dating then, Carol Lindsay, was playing Laura. But she cut her teeth here at the Denver Center Theater in Quilters, which is a wonderful musical. So we have a lot of connections. I was here twice, had an, an incredible time here at both times, playing Grantaire and Bemette Bois. We had such a good time here, and we didn't use the oxygen backstage, which is some powerful singing in, in Old Les Mis. This is one of the top reasons to come. <laughs> you know, you gotta trust that the Tonys know what they're doing, and they picked a fantastic gem of a show. I tell people, come at the beginning of the run because you're gonna wanna come again. The show is so witty and smart and fast that you're gonna sometimes miss a lot the first time. You're gonna wanna come back and, and they're rolling in the seats everywhere. It's 